In this video, I will provide a quick explanation of the Caesar cipher. So this cipher is named after Julius Caesar, who used it to encrypt personal messages that he sent. And here's the idea behind the cipher. If you want to encrypt a message using letters from the alphabet, what you're going to do is map the original letters, so A through Z, to a shifted version of the alphabet. So Julius Caesar famously used a version of the alphabet that was shifted by three positions. So what that means is if he wanted to send a message with the letter A, he would instead write the letter that is three positions down from A, which would be D. So instead of writing A, he would write D. So in other words, the plain text A maps to the cipher text of D. Similarly, to encrypt the letter B, you're instead going to write the character that is three positions down from that. So one, two, three, that would be the letter E. So B maps to E. So you can see that to encrypt some plain text, we're just going to map it to the characters in an alphabet that has been shifted by a certain number of positions. So let's take a look at an example of how to actually encrypt a message using the Caesar cipher. All right, this says encrypt the following message using the Caesar cipher with a shift of three. Math is fun. So what we're going to do is just go letter by letter through this plain text, and we're going to map it to its corresponding cipher text. So let's start with M. If we find M in the plain text, we can see that maps to the cipher text of P. So the first letter in our cipher text will be a P. And then we'll move on to the next letter. So next we have A. So if we find A, that plain text maps to the cipher text of D. So we'll write D. And then we'll move on to T. So if we find T, the plain text T maps to the cipher text W. And we'll just continue in this manner until we have encrypted the entire plain text. And here is what we end up getting for our cipher text. So that's how we can encrypt the plain text math is fun using a Caesar cipher with a shift of three. All right, now let's check out an example of decryption. So this one says decrypt the following message if it was originally encrypted using the Caesar cipher with a shift of seven. So we have this cipher text and we want to decrypt it. Now in the previous example, when we were encrypting a message, we were using a Caesar cipher with a shift of three, which is what this table represents. But now we're using a Caesar cipher with a shift of seven. So here's what that looks like. So what that means is that each letter in the original alphabet is now mapped to a letter that is seven positions down from it. So A is mapped to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A is now mapped to H. B is now mapped to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I, and so on. So to decrypt this cipher text, here's what we do. Start with the first letter of O and find it in the cipher text row right here. And we can see that maps to a plain text of H. So let's write that H. Next, we'll move on to the next letter. So L, let's find that in the cipher text row, which is right here. That maps to the plain text of E. So E will be our next letter. And then we'll move on to F and we'll find F in the cipher text row. So that's all the way down here. We can see that maps to Y. So Y will be our next letter in our plain text. And we'll just continue in this manner until we have decrypted the entire message. And we will find that the decrypted message says, hey there. So that was just a quick example of how to use the Caesar cipher to encrypt and decrypt text.